Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing an unboxing for a CyberPower PC, so let's do it. When you're opening the box, you don't want to cut very deep, because right below that is your case box. And I'm singing as I'm doing this. Alright, on top is your invoice, that's everything that's in the computer, has your price and all that wonderful stuff. Fabulous foam padding. That's a really big box, okay. So, the most important box you're going to see, this is your motherboard box. Uh, you'll understand why it's very important as we go on. Uh, inside your motherboard box, you have your mouse, which is very dented. You have your mouse that came with the computer purchase. And inside your bag, you have your motherboard manual. You got your, uh, let's see, you got the wireless card in here too. Your power card. And you have all of your driver CDs. And also you have your SLI bridge. This is something I did not get with mine, actually. That's really nice to have. Uh, you have all your driver CDs. You have your Windows 7 disk, which has already come pre-installed on the computer. And in, in this case, we have the wireless card. You have the PSI adapter, wireless driver as well. All right. Like as I said before, that's the most important box, and you never want to lose that box, which you'll understand later. More padding. Also, inside you'll have your keyboard in this case he upgraded to the razor blackwood ultimate same keyboard that i have which is over there so it's a mechanical keyboard it's all fabulous and enjoyable so we'll see that later oh you have the mouse pad you have the uh, razor mouse pad as well so that comes included around the side razor's all the brand and then the giant computer box that is inside Alright, so we have the uh, computer, it's pre-made already inside this box. Uh, you're going to want to keep this box as well, so when you carry your computer around to various places, it's very good to perfectly fit for your computer case. Unless you just want to use not the case, but this has like the foam padding and all that, so it makes it very easily. And again, you don't want to cut very deep, because right below is your computer itself. In this case, it's the Corsair, the 400R case. And watching a bunch of unboxing videos in the past, easiest way to get it out. All right. Wow, that's a big case. All right. Voila! So here we have the case here, we've taken it out, took it out of its packaging. Uh, do not just go right and start plugging this thing in, because you will severely damage everything that's in your computer. It has a nice warning label on the side. Basically, toolless. You see that now? I'm going to screwdriver to open this. <laughs> <laughs> so, not so toolless after all. Got the side panel here. You can see it comes with packaging material that will keep everything necessarily in place. Also, the fan on the bottom, you have eight fans. Wow, this is a really big case. And also, a, any case that has fans on the side, make sure you don't pull the panel off because they're still connected to the power supply and you could damage that very safely. Pull it out evenly. There we go, you have your computer. It's very nice. Did you pay for the extra wiring? You didn't, right? No, I didn't. You can see it, they, without paying for the extra wiring, they did a really nice job wiring it all through. They managed to put all of it through the back of the computer. Uh, in this computer itself, we have the Ivy Bridge, the Intel i7 3770K. Uh, then we have the GTX 560 Ti, the 2 gigabit version. Uh, we have your wireless card, which you bought separately in there, as well as the Corsair water cooling with the radiator on the back. Uh, we have the standard Extreme Gear power supply, it's an 800 watt power supply. 
as well as two terabyte hard drive that I just threw back. And see the back panels off here. You can see again with the wiring, everything is generally pretty well done. Uh, this is without paying for the extra wiring package. Again, proving that you don't really need to pay the extra money for it. Everything's really nicely tied down in the back. Uh, the nice thing with this case, it has a nice pop out. So you know, it's like when you have all the wires out hanging on the back, you don't have to jam the back panel back on. Also, on the case itself, you have your uh, Windows uh, activation key. So, if you're looking for that, that's where that's at. On the back here, you have your motherboard, all the outputs on the back. Again, if you have your dedicated graphics card, which you will have from getting from CyberPower, you're not using these video outputs, you're using yours on the graphics card itself. So we have uh, the case here, about to turn it on. Your uh, outlet for the power supply comes inside your motherboard box, as well as some extra screws and some more ties and all sorts of crazy stuff. Again, Windows 7 comes pre-installed on the computer. All you have to do is the final setup process, including you know your name, your password, and all that. But other than that, you do not have to go through the process of installing Windows. So you do not have to put the Windows disk in your computer. And you can see you can buy the extra fan package. Uh, it's an extra, I believe, like seven or eight dollars, and it'll fill every fan place that you can put a fan. In this case, you have eight fans in this computer, which is ridiculous. So. Power button. I love the white LEDs on the front. They look so nice. They're on the top too. Oh. Oh. Always a good sign. Is your card reader? Oh, okay. So you have like your SD cards or any of the camera cards. And plug them all in on the front here. Okay, so you can see we got the window screen. All you're doing is doing through the setup process. Okay, so we have our desktop. Mm -hmm. We're loaded. Everything's working properly. So now we're gonna go through the setup. Most importantly, you're gonna start doing your Windows updates. You're just gonna plug in your Ethernet cord, connect to your home network. At least it should be your home network. So now you're gonna go to the Windows. You're going to type in Windows Update. You're going to type in Windows Updates. You're going to check for updates. There will be a lot of updates. And it's important you get those for security reasons. You, of course, after reading all of your terms, you're going to accept them and start downloading your updates. This time will vary depending on your internet connection speed. In this case, we have 33 updates that have to be installed. Uh, so this will take a little while, so we'll cut back when we're done installing the updates. So once the Windows updates has uh, finished installing, you're now just going to have to restart your computer to do that. So once you've installed your Windows updates, you're now going to install your antivirus. Uh, Microsoft provides for free, it's called Microsoft Security Essentials. So you're going to open up Internet Explorer, sadly. And you want to make sure that you choose the website that is windows.microsoft.com. That's your secure website to get Security Essentials, and you're going to download it. And now I'm just going to do a quick scan of your computer and then check for any updates. Obviously there won't be any updates considering you're downloading right from the website. But it's going to check anyways. It's going to do a quick scan and obviously because it's a new computer it's not going to find anything. So now while the security essentials is scanning your computer for any threats, we can now move on. What do you prefer, Firefox or Chrome? I think I like Chrome better. Okay, as do I. And now we're going to use Internet Explorer for its true purpose of downloading another Explorer. So we're going to install Google Chrome. You have Google Chrome installed. Uh, one final step uh, for maintenance wise in your computer, you're not going to want to download your newest drivers for your computer. Now, coming installed, you get with your computer, you get your driver CD. However, getting the drivers off that CD, they're going to be outdated. So you're going to go right to their website. So once you have all your drivers up to date, the next thing you're going to do is install your more important things you're going to use on a day to day basis. That includes, you know, your Java, Flash, install those. And then besides that and beyond that, you're basically done with setting up your computer in terms of getting it to run properly. Once you finish installing all your drivers, you're going to do one more um, restarting of your computer to make sure they're all taking effect. And then the final thing you're going to do is create a system image and create a system repair disk. That way, in worst case scenario, your computer ever crashes beyond repair and horrible, you can 
put in your repair disc and put in your and use your system image and it'll bring you back to as it is today. So that kind of finishes the unboxing and the setting up of your new CyberPower PC. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video down below. I'm being pointed up by a bunch of different guns right now. I'm kind of afraid for my life. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you like this video and my other videos, feel free to subscribe.